Hi there, it's Kelly here and today I'll be teaching you how to customize your homepage. Let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to activate our online store. Once you're logged in, we want to click on channels and then we want to click on online store. And here we just want to enable, click on enable and with that our online store has been enabled. Alright, so once you've enabled it, you will be directed to this page and as you scroll down, you will see a few settings that you can actually adjust for your online store. So there's themes, web pages, articles, navigations and domains. Alright, so let's click into themes. This is where you can customize the appearance of your online store, including the homepage, which we will be going through shortly. So as you can see, currently uh, for my online store, I have installed the chapter theme. If you scroll down, you will notice that there is a section that says all themes and also a theme store button. So what we have done is we actually have prepared a few templates here based on different industries like fashion, food, furniture and even you know sportswear and things like that. So you can actually pick a template and then customize it according to your brand color and branding guidelines. Okay so I'm going to select a different theme so that I can show you how to set it up. For example I feel that this tunes theme, this layout is what I like. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on the install button. And with that, I've already installed the theme in my online store. Alright, so once you click on the customize button, you will be directed to the drag and drop website builder of your online store. So in terms of this top bar right here, you will notice that there are different pages that you can actually customize and including the preview on different devices. On the left panel right here, you will notice a long list of items and I'm going to break it down to you. So for every website, there will be three sections. One is the header, which is over here. One is the body section that builds up the whole website and of course your footer section. So this is the three important components of every website. Then in terms of the settings, you will also see here, you can actually customize the default and primary setting that will be applied across your entire website. So this includes your color, your font and things like that. Right. So let's click on the header setting and um, in terms of the logo alignment, you can either put it on the left side or center, which I'm going to show you how centered looks like. Okay, it's going to look like that. So for instance, I feel like, you know, the left one is okay. I'm going to change it back to the left one. And in the next section, I'm going to change my logo. So this is where you can actually put your company logo here. So what I want to highlight is that uh, it will be important to put a logo color that contrasts, that is different from the background color of your header section because you want it to be, you know, visible. So for instance, my logo here has a black outline with a white background, which there. then you'll be able to see. So if I do not have any white background against my logo, then it will actually not appear i mean it won't be prominent so just to take note you want to make sure that your your, your company logo is visible all right so in the next section we can actually change the color of our bar so for example i feel like, like the black color is like a bit too much so i can actually change this to white color all right then you will notice that my navigation menu and everything else is suddenly missing but don't worry that's because my text color is also white color which makes it you know not visible what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna change this color to black color but of course you can change it to a color depending on your company branding and outline there everything is back to normal now so i can see you know the icons and my navigation menu here so on this bottom corner you will see this special setting that allows you to enable sticky header if you enable sticky header, what this does is as customers scroll through your online store, your header will remain at the top of their page so they can always access it. So I'm going to enable my sticky header and before I actually click save, I will also want to cross check whether you know my page looks okay on the tablet version and the mobile version. So if everything is okay, I'm going to click on that save button and with that we have successfully saved our header section. Okay. So now we're going to change our footer setting. Let's click on footer and we also want to scroll all the way down to uh, the bottom of the page and you'll notice that there are four columns here. So we have actually created four columns here where you can highlight your social media, payment methods, some quick links so you can actually link it to other pages of your website and including a short introduction about your company here. So you can actually change um, the settings for each column here. For example, for social media, the heading here currently it says follow us so you can even change it to you know our social media for example okay so let's say i do not have any twitter account i can just remove the hyperlink 
and if I scroll down actually the Twitter icon will be removed automatically so of course you want to actually add the correct links of your social media here and it will automatically hyperlink to that page so when customers look at this icon and they click into it it will direct them to your social media pages accordingly and then now we're gonna look at payment methods so the heading that is preset here is we accept so you can even change it to our payment methods for example and then let it load for a while then it will update all right and then let's say you know you do not accept american express for example you just need to untick it it will be updated here with the icon so this is just to inform your customers the sort of payment methods that are available right here so what i want to highlight is in the last section here it says payment methods so if you were to enable it what it does is that it will show a um, logo of the payment methods that you have activated in your settings so for example i have um, activated my ox pay and do it now qr it will actually appear automatically here okay so in terms of your quick links you can actually customize what links you want to highlight here so for example what we have here by default is the location link so in terms of the last section it is called the about us section this is just a column where you can put in a short description on your company so and in the last section of this page there is the settings button if you click on it you can actually customize the color of your background here so for example you know i feel that they cannot see the logo i can change it to maybe a lighter gray color for example you scroll all the way down uh, there then everything becomes easier and more visible for example so you can also change how your header color looks so for example if i were to change it to black color it will actually change this header color so i feel like white is okay as it is it suits the whole team i'm going to um, check across review on different devices and if it's okay i'm going to go ahead and click on that save button Alright, so now that I have changed the header and footer, I'm also going to change the settings of my page. So I can actually change the typography. You can also change the style of the text here. Okay, so in terms of typography, you can actually change the font of your header and your body. And you, if you want to change this font, you can just click on it and a list of fonts will appear. So, Alright, so let's move on to the next section, color. There are a few colors you can change here for your online store. So just play around with the combination and see what suits your brand best. Alright, so in terms of the background settings, quite straightforward. If you want to put a background image at the back of your online store or at the back of your online page, you can actually set that here. So in the next section, Favicon. So Favicon is actually quite important part of your online branding because Favicon is this icon that appears here when people are at your online store. So imagine when people have different different tabs, having your logo here would help them differentiate and identify that, oh, this is your page. So you can actually just change and put in your logo image here. All right. So in the next setting, it is the layout. We can just keep it as default here. And in terms of the image right here this is actually the link preview image that will appear for example when you send the link of your online store to your customers so what we want to do is actually make use of this tool to enhance our branding and um, to let our customers you know have an idea on what they're expected to see when they visit your website and in our last setting which will be the checkout we want to attach our logo image here as well. all right so with that we have actually gone through all the settings of our online store we will now click on the save button so now we're going to move on to the body section as you can see there is a list of different sections here which is actually a um, part of the template so you can actually either follow the template or if you feel like you want to customize a bit, you can actually add your new sections. If you click on add section, what you can see is there are a few different options here. And these are actually the different templates that you can choose, which you can use to highlight different things. So including your products or even some text or even some banners. Okay. So for example, I would want to change my slider image. I will click on slider. And then in terms of slide here, I'm going to give that a click as well. And I will be setting my new slide image. Alright, so once that's done, I'm going to scroll down. This is where you can change the slide title, the text, the button, and the button link, basically, which is where you want to direct your customers to. So for example, I'm doing this Muji Home Collection, then I can actually change the title to Shop Our Muji Home Collection. And then in the text here, I'm going to say something like Transform Your Living Room with Our Muji Home Furnitures, for example. Okay? Then in terms of the button, I can change it to shop now and I will put in my link. So, so for example, I want to direct them to my, you know, uh, a specific page. I can put my link here and I can even change the color of this section. So there are a few settings here that you can play around, but this is one of the sections that you can do. 
And then, for example, I feel like, you know, one picture is very boring and I want to make it slide because this is a slider function. So what I can do is I can click on add block here and another slide. So this gives me another page where I can preview maybe another collection or other important information. So for example, I want to highlight a different, different image here. So if you notice, there is a new section created here with my second image. And if I had to scroll down, I can change the title here again. So for example, this time I want to highlight my sale. I'm just going to put in 30% off first purchase, for example. And then I would say limited time only, for example. I can also do this another time. Let's say I want to have three, the third image where I want to highlight, you know, what we do and things like that. So I can add my third slide. I'm going to add my third image. All right. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to change the title. Uh about us for example and then my text is gonna be you know 25 years of experience uh, in this industry delivering delivering quality goods and things like that lah. so this is where you want to put your information quality so with that we have successfully added um, a slider with three slides and three different image to showcase okay so if you scroll to the bottom to the settings section you can also change um, how frequently you want the slides to change. So if, for example, I feel like 3 seconds is a bit fast. I can change it to maybe 5 seconds. Then it would actually hold for 5 seconds before it changes to the next slide. So okay, so once all my settings are done, I'm going to preview it on other devices to check if it's okay. And if everything is okay, I'm going to click on that save button. Alright, so with that, we have successfully changed the first part of our body section which is the slider. So for every section, you can actually go in and play around. So what it does is the layout is already fixed. What you can change is, you know, words that you want to put, the content you want to put. So it will be good to actually strategize your entire content layout. So for example, you have a video that you want to highlight, you know, at the first load. When people look at your online store, you want it to be a video. So you can actually add a new section and add a video. And you can actually drag it all the way on top. Let's drag it all the way on top so you can customize all of that as well. With that, we have successfully customized our homepage. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!